A part of Madison that hasn't seen a grocery store in six years is one step closer to getting one. NBC 15's Christy Batista explains how the city of Madison is helping out. Madison is recognized as such a great food haven in this country. And at the same time, Allied Drive neighborhood with 4,000 families has no food available. In a part of town where grocery stores are slim to none, the Allied Drive neighborhood is a food desert here in Madison. A grocery store could be around the corner. That's because the city of Madison is freeing up $300,000 for the project. I believe that when they put out the request for proposals, they thought like a grocery store business would come in and, and apply for the money. The Allied Community Co-op was the only applicant. The co-op received the loan, but officials don't think the store will be up and running until 2018. And for an area that hasn't seen a grocery store since 2009, that's too long of a wait. There's a huge sense of urgency in the neighborhood because people are really sick of not having food available. So before that happens, co-op leaders are trying other ways to get food on the table for local families with something called a buying club. We'll set up relationships with a couple wholesale food vendors and um, people will put in orders for a lot of the kinds of staples that you need. So people will order food or order things in bulk. Hoping to get food in the neighborhood by the start of next year. In Madison, Christy Batista, NBC 15 News. Allied community co-op leaders hope to have 35 families sign up for the buying club. It currently has 20 on the list.